Okay. Uh, while we wait for Ritu to join, let me quickly introduce Mr. Girish Matrabhutam once again. Mr. Girish is the Chief Executive Officer of Freshworks and serves on its Board of, board of Director. He founded Freshworks, then Freshdesk in October 2010 with his partner, Shanmugan Krishnamurthy. Girish has earned his MBA in Marketing from the University of Madras and his B from Shanmuga Arts, Science, Technology and Research Center. And sorry, Research Academy. Before founding Freshworks, Girish was the VP of Product Management at the Ma Manage Engine Division of Zoho Corporation. He has joined Zoho Corporation, then AdventNet in 2001 as a pre-sales engineer. Girish has been building on premise help desk system since 2004. A very warm welcome to you, sir. And I'd like to hand over the stage to you now. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Pratima. And uh, hello, everyone. <clears throat> So um, let me quickly go ahead and share my screen. So good morning, everyone, to all of you in India. I am uh, coming in live from uh, San Francisco, California. And my name is Girish Matrabhutam. I'm employee number one at Freshworks. Uh, quickly, Freshworks is a next generation CRM and customer engagement uh, software company. And, and uh, our vision is to enable every business to get and keep their customers for life. I hope all of you are safe during these uh, COVID times and, and uh, hope your families are also safe. <clears throat> so COVID has changed our life so much and the nature of work so much that I'm here today to talk about the future of work. So when we think about the future of work uh, in a post-COVID world, uh, <clears throat> There are many dimensions to that future, right? We can think about workplace safety. We can think about workforce or employee safety. We can think about uh, transportation and return to office and so on. But for today, I'm going to talk about uh, the future of work from a technology standpoint, specifically, what does it mean for SaaS technologies and uh, which areas will see adoption? So what are the trends that are driving um, uh, these uh, uh, changes? Some of these trends we all know, but which technologies are going to benefit from that? So I'll keep it sh uh, uh, short and, and I will have probably another 14 minutes uh, to go through this. So we all know this, uh, right? Uh, so work from home is the new normal, right? And, uh, uh, and we don't even know till how long. And every company that had uh, or did not have a work from home policy will now have to have a work from home policy, right? Now, what does this trend change? And this is massive, right? For uh, like, uh, how do you work from, for me? I think it's going to move from work from home to work from anywhere. Once uh, the travel restrictions are lifted, uh, people are going to want to go away to some place and then uh, work, right? Now, what does this mean for businesses? Uh, how do you enable a work from anywhere employee, right? And how, so this is where uh, businesses have to ensure that we truly have a digital workplace where employees get everything that they need from the company uh, from at, at the click of a button, right? Or at, the, at their fingertips from a browser. So uh, whether it's a self-service portal or it's an employee engagement bot, the employee now does not have to go to different teams and departments, right? So whether it's HR or IT or uh, finance, all the support organizations have to come together seamlessly in a digital fashion where the employee, whether they need an IT uh, equipment or they need a payroll uh, uh, pay stub or they have a finance query or an expense report that they need submitted, they have a question, everything should be, um, they should be able to access uh, completely digitally, not to mention uh, all the communication and collaboration needs, right? We all know uh, that uh, let's go to a meeting will soon be replaced by let's Zoom. And, and content, like how do you, uh, 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 create and make all those content available to employees. So the digital workplace is a huge uh, 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 domain which encompasses communication, collaboration, content, and, and uh, employee self-service. Uh, all of that uh, will have to accelerate uh, now, and, and today employees will need it. Companies that have not invested in those areas should bring it uh, quickly if they've not already done that. So, and then, when you think about it, even in the pre-COVID era, workflow and collaboration was broken, right? When we had our uh, content uh, in a different place or we had our system of record, which is whether it's a CRM or a customer support solution, whatever if, uh, uh, is the uh, core context, 
So uh, that was separate. And then we use collaboration tools like Google Hangouts or uh, uh, let's say today we have uh, uh, Slack and Microsoft Teams. So the, the content and the uh, collaboration tools or the workflow tools and the collaboration tools were not talking to each other even in the pre-COVID era. And today with remote uh, uh, work becoming the norm, it, it's uh, completely broken. And that needs to be fixed at a, at a, uh, a really fast pace, right? So businesses have to bring together context and collaboration. So now this could mean uh, like, how do you integrate your Slack or Teams with, with uh, all the other uh, workflow systems that you have? Or it could be moving to completely new tools like uh, Notion or Figma, where collaboration is built in as a feature, like today's project management tools or design tools are all bringing collaboration as a feature. So um, whichever way we go, uh, whether it's the Slack Teams way or uh, a completely new software, the, there is an important need to bring context and collaboration together because of people not being close to each other, not being able to speak to each other. So I think that's a very big trend uh, that uh, will become more and more important as we move forward. When you think about the customer, right? So um, uh, shopping has moved online, uh, even if for physical retail, right? So if you're in retail, uh, we have all been uh, talking about omni-channel, right? So Okay, every an e-commerce company, many e-commerce companies like Lenskart or Carrot Lane, they are actually opening physical stores and many physical stores want to sell online, right? But today, the meaning of omni-channel is how do you have the same inventory but sell uh, digitally, sell through stores, sell through uh, uh, WhatsApp or, or Facebook Messenger and so on. So I think uh, um, shopping has already moved online for any retailer today. Uh, like even uh, at least they have to take phone orders and do curbside delivery. Every retailer had to uh, has to today pro offer some kind of delivery solution. So so the world changed. Uh, uh, even it, it is almost we can say that um, businesses are being dragged to move uh, to this new omnichannel mode, right? And and when you want to service this customer, uh, so how do you quickly move? Uh, from uh, single channel to omni-channel. I think we are now leapfrogging uh, the uh, traditional journey of how US uh, companies moved from single channel to multi-channel to cross-channel and then finally omni-channel. I think Indian businesses can actually leapfrog uh, this moment and directly go to an omni-channel uh, solution, right? Where you can sell your products uh, in physical stores or through email or phone or uh, through a digital, uh, through a Shopify uh, e-commerce store. But more importantly, uh, when you have this um, uh, omni-channel customer, how do you actually take care of this customer? This is an important aspect, the CRM of the future. So businesses will need a CRM system that can deliver on the promise of customer 360. And this is something that the industry is moving. And, and to, uh, pretty soon, all businesses will start demanding the ability to track uh, every aspect of the customer conversation or the order or the events and activities that the customer has performed on the website. So there has to be full visibility of the customer. So this is uh, something that's going to get accelerated as we see uh, uh, life after COVID. I think uh, businesses will want a customer 360 solution soon. So, uh, okay, marketing, right? Uh, I, like I would say in Freshworks, we have a digital marketing team. We had a digital marketing team and we have a field marketing team. The digital marketing team was spending on Google AdWords and other online campaigns and trying to bring traffic to the uh, website. Whereas our field marketing teams were actually doing uh, events globally, um, physical events, conferences, user conference and so on. But today uh, our field marketing team is running more, uh, almost 20 uh, webinars virtually every month, right? Like uh, a conference that we are uh, similar to what uh, Ent Entrepreneur Magazine is doing right now. So all conferences have become virtual, right? So so field marketing has now become digital marketing. So every business today, you cannot be waiting for business to resume. You have to go out and engage customers through online events. So do you have the right software that helps you conduct those virtual events? And it's not just about conference software. So today our field marketing teams are almost producing Netflix like content, like customer interviews, which are deep and, and making it like a movie and, and releasing it because today 
you, everybody is doing virtual events, right? So you have to uh, provide original content that is rich and, and uh, in order to engage deeply with customers. So um, uh, the world of marketing as we know it uh, can change forever because once uh, these field marketers taste success with digital, they're going to actually realize uh, how much more efficient this is, how much uh, uh, more cost, uh, like economical this is, and, and uh, maybe this is going to stay. Like, uh, so field marketing is also digital uh, now. So if you look at uh, uh, sales people, right? So we all know that uh, uh, there are inside sales people who sell from a telephone, like sitting in an office and do Zoom calls and sell. Uh, like we have an SMB sales team like that at Freshworks. And then there are enterprise salespeople who are there in the field, meeting customers face to face. But imagine this, right? Today, every enterprise salesperson is now an inside salesperson, right? They have to learn how to uh, uh, sell through phone calls and, and Zoom demos and so on. Uh, and and uh, all the golf courses and, and golf tournaments have now gone virtual, right? So you have to uh, try to sell virtually. I was actually invited uh, um, for a virtual wine tasting event by uh, SAP. So I think large enterprises are now figuring out how to uh, change enterprise sales into a virtual uh, motion, right? So it's hard. And, and But as a business, if you have enterprise salespeople, you have to be thinking, hey, how can I retrain my sales folks? Like, do I have the right sales enablement platform? So do I, uh, like, if, if we see opportunity in certain segments, how do I quickly train my entire sales force? So at Freshworks, we trained almost, uh, we have more than 1,000 uh, people in our sales and pre-sales teams. So we had to quickly retrain them to kind of go after uh, the omni-channel customer engagement opportunity, right? So, so you need to make investments in those areas. Uh, so that is an area which is going to uh, grow even uh, further. And then uh, if you think about uh, deals, right? Today, uh, one of the areas that is uh, slowly gaining mass adoption it's a very niche area, right? So it used to be uh, something that uh, many businesses have, many still don't have a full-fledged document or, a, or a, a, it's called a system of agreement, right? The entire workflow around contract management and e-signatures. So I think that's getting accelerated as we speak. So uh, uh, businesses are uh, quickly moving on to this and, and uh, all deals are now being closed virtually. So uh, the system of agreement is, is going to see a huge adoption wave. If, if you have not, I think uh, it's time uh, to quickly put in place a solution to manage the entire uh, workflow of uh, uh, signatures and contracts. So I think uh, um, that's predominantly uh, what I have wanted to share in terms of what uh, technology areas we are seeing adoption. And I think uh, Microsoft uh, CEO Satya Nadella captured it beautifully. So he was uh, speaking, uh, I think, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, when he said as COVID-19 impacts our work and our life, uh, we have already seen two years uh, worth of digital transformation in two months, right? So, so that is what is happening in the world right now. So if you want to look at it as a positive, if you're in uh, SaaS, if you're in technology, so I think what we are seeing is an acceleration, right? Uh, so the uh, employees being at home, customers not being in the store, uh, is accelerating the demand for businesses to transform themselves digitally whether it's sales or marketing or uh, employee engagement. Uh, so every aspect of the business is going through digital transformation. And we are moving towards a world where we will see more and more um, uh, faster adoption of uh, SaaS as well as digital transformation technologies. So with that, I would like to just say uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity and uh, have a great conference.